funny how the battlegrounds have moved. You know, the churches are full of chicks, which is great, and now we're fighting for the rights of vicars to be openly gay. I know. Proudly holding our banner high. Pack the parishes with puffs. <laughs> quite the wording I would have chosen. I, for one, am very much in favour of people coming out the cupboard. <laughs> the closet. Right. Yeah. I mean, what a terrifying idea. You know, you go to collect your coat, first cold day of winter, and standing inside the closet are Graham Norton, Dale Winton and Sir Ian McKellen. <laughs> so much better they come out the closet where you can see them. Yeah. Yeah. It's madness, though, isn't it? In my 20s, I don't think I met a Church of England vicar who wasn't gay. I thought you had to be gay to get in. <laughs> and then they go and try to officially appoint just one openly gay bishop and it splits the church. I'm thinking of declaring myself gay as a protest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you were gay... Yeah. Right. Great minds think a lie. <laughs> Yeah, not on this occasion. <laughs> but just imagine, like, all yeah. the men are dead, right, because okay. they found out that football's poisonous, right? Oh, right. <laughs> so you've got a chance, right, to choose a girl. So who would you plump uh, for? Lots to choose from. Yeah, well, half the world's population, Well, frankly. right, yeah, yeah, and Eddie Izzard. Yeah. <laughs> on some nights, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait a minute. Um... Who's that girl that presents that sports quiz? She's blonde, you know. Well, a little a... bob haircut. Like... What, Sue Barker? Yeah. Oh, definitely not her. <laughs> this is quite an interesting option, don't you think? Oh. Rachel Hunter, page seven and eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there'd be a lot to learn around her curves and crevices, don't you? <laughs> oh, my God, look at those. No. And that. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I think first, taking everything into account, I'd probably have to go for the Queen. <laughs> You'd like to sleep with the Queen? Well, no, not particularly, but, I mean, it'd be so great to slip into conversation, wouldn't it? I mean, you go down the post office, you buy a stamp, and you look at it and you say, I've had her. <laughs> And you could say, it took her a little bit of time to warm up, but was she worth the wait? <laughs> what about you? Mm, I think I'll pass on the Queen. Really? Yeah, well, I think I'll plump for Rachel, actually. Mm. Yeah, and she can have another little Rachel. Rachel Stevens in her pocket as a reserve. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the price of one. Well, why not? <laughs> Lesby greedy. <laughs> Uh, let's be naughty. <laughs> It'll be fantastic. <laughs> Mingnificent. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just getting too late now, Alan. <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed. I beg your pardon? No, 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 no. separate beds, Alice. Yeah. Oh, I, thought... <laughs> I thought for a moment. No, good you Lord, meant... no. <laughs> No offence, of course. No, 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 none taken. <laughs> All right, good night, then. Okay, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah, good, good night, yeah.